guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Patreon request from Katie Abbott. We're back on McFly, but it's not music. It's Tom Fletcher's wedding speech. Apparently she said, just trust me. I trust you. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm intrigued to see exactly what my wedding speech is all about. Let's go. Um, so, um, Giovanna can tell you that um, the only nerves and anxiety that I've had about the wedding has been about giving this speech. I absolutely hate public speaking. Uh, okay. Me and public speaking, we're just not compatible. We don't go together very well at all. Um, I think mainly because I don't have any idea how to write a good speech. Um, but I do know how to write a song. So I It's the same thing. It can, it, the creativity is the same. Come on. Speech. Come on, Tom. Um, but I do know how to write a song. So I hope this isn't cheating my way out of it too much. <laughs> so it is music. Recently I've been having a wedding. Okay. I've married this girl who's out of this world. Believe me. And we are so grateful. To so many people But I'm saying thank you To only a few I'm sorry So if I don't thank you It means that I've probably just forgot you <laughs> But obviously That doesn't mean That we are not grateful just unforgetful and so I'm sorry if your name's not in this song <laughs> oh, no. okay so clearly he's rewritten the words from obviously for his wedding speech which is a very very innovative thing to do but then again he said he's a songwriter so it's very very easy for him to do this okay a little bit carny but good Painful. Just unforgetful and so I'm sorry if your name's not in this song <laughs> Oh no Here we go I hope I don't get this wrong <laughs> Okay, what's going on now? Hey! I'm saying thanks to my ushers My manager and G's brother there's so much that I could say okay. But I haven't got all day <laughs> So Mario, thanks for making The suits us guys are all wearing We're looking <laughs> fine And that is why I wrote this song to say Thank you is this a song Thank you for being my ashes Thank you you're awesome, the coolest guy. Thank you. And thank you for being my ushers. Guys are gonna tell you, you couldn't be better. Ushers, unless you were usher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Very, very good. You don't need me to explain that to you. <laughs> This is a very, very good way to do a wedding speech. Ushers, unless you were usher. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of these songs that I don't know. <laughs> I only knew, obviously, before I started, because ages ago when obviously came out. Um, I dismissed it as like, oh, it's a pop song, blah, blah, blah. Didn't listen to any McFly at all. And then since doing this channel, a lot of McFly fans have come on and give me various songs, so you only know about five songs. I don't recognise anything apart from obviously and anything else that I've heard. Bridesmaids, <laughs> I can't stop thanking you. You look amazing. I wish I could marry you too. <laughs> You all are so special to my new wife, G. And you mean 
mean so much to me Yes, you truly are the best bridesmaids that there's ever been That's really, really heartfelt the way he's talking about these two because obviously they're very, very good friends and he's saying like you've, we've had like rough times and smooth times and stuff with you. So, you know, you've been there from the good and the bad. That's a nice way to put that in and, and, and like tributing this part of the song to them. He's, he's going all in. He's going very, very thorough with them as well. It's good. I like it. So please don't go changing. So thank you. It's not good enough for love. <laughs> Thank you, it's not good enough. More, more people, it's obviously close. Georgina, you're now <laughs> my sister in law. But Georgina, you were like a sister before. Nice. Ooh, that was smooth, wasn't it? That was smooth. Smooth talk in there. Tom. You were like a sister before You're truly a friend And that means a lot Cause it's pretty cool That my sister-in-law is so hot <laughs> Oh yeah So thank you so Oh, there's good the sting enough. Carrie, you've done so much I can't believe you're so grown up So please don't go change <laughs> This is beautiful and it's classy and it's very, very tribute orientated. And he's not leaving nobody out, even though he said if your name's not in this song, he's gonna say it to it. He's gonna, he's basically gonna say everybody's name in this song, isn't it? Because like we've still got a ways to go yet, and it's he's already thanked like a million people. But I mean, yeah, this is very, very good. It's very well, well thought out. I like this. It's uh, it's like nothing I've ever seen before at a wedding. Killing him for putting pictures like that on, wouldn't you? Thanks to my best men, you are the best friends that I know I will ever have. You're more like brothers and sometimes lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I think it means that in respect that they start arguing with each other when they're writing songs and stuff. <laughs> Like when you like you, when you're in a couple and you you start getting uh, antsy with each other because you've been seeing each other all the time. <laughs> okay, okay. Lovers, and sometimes lovers, <laughs> but we won't tell them about that. <laughs> We've been together for what feels like forever, mm. but I do it all again and again. Hundred percent. But we're only getting started And I know McFly will never end Very good So let's start with Harry <laughs> He's singling him out He's singling him out now <laughs> So let's start with Harry You've been there for me Through all the good times and the bad Doggy without you I don't know what I do But I know my life will be sad Dougie is the other guy who writes the books with him um, Like the dinosaur that pooped a planet I've, I, I know this because my son's got some of Tom Fletcher's books And Dougie 
Pointer, is it? I'm sure the name's Dougie Pointer. And these two write children's books as well. And they're very, very well written. And that's the reason I'm bringing it on. They're very well written. The, the rhyming is absolutely fantastic. And you can tell it's been made by a songwriter. It's uh, If you get a chance to read, even on the ch- children's books, if you get a chance to read one of them, and then re- just remind yourself that it's McFly who's wrote them, then, you know, y- you'll see. You'll see you'll see the artistry within the book. It's good. Even though they're funny and corny. my life will be sad. <laughs> and thank you, Daddy, for making me happy by thinking eggs are vegetables. <laughs> what? Clearly a private joke. He thinks eggs are vegetables. You say eggs. Eggs and vegetables, they come from a chicken. <laughs> eggs are vegetables. Oh, never let that, live that down. Because things like that remind me how lost I would be without you all. Fantastic. Thank you, boys. That was good. That was good. to my mum Thanks to my dad You've both been the best Mum and dad I could have I won't say too much Cause I know you'll start crying (laughs) She's gone already She was going she was going as soon as he started saying mum and dad. I know you'll start crying. <laughs> but you gave me everything. From music to flying. And I'd be nothing without you. Wow, this is this is really good. So I hope I've made you proud. You've given me Thanks to G's mum. Uh oh. The in laws. Thanks to G's dad. <laughs> Kim's profit to roll. <laughs> are the best that I've had. I hope that one day we'll have a son or a daughter. So Kim, thanks for being the best mom in law in town. Just look into my eyes, cause the groom never lies. <laughs> Do you know what? I half expected him to say that he was gonna lie in that part. <laughs> that would have been funnier. <laughs> The groom In fact, it was just classy, really, wasn't it? Mario! Thank you. And he's got more yet. 
Yeah, he's got more. Personal level now. This one should make you smile. It's all about you. What? Wow, this bit's goosebumpy. It's like, ooh. But he said the groom never lies. He's not going to wash no dishes. He'll put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> this bit, obviously, because it's him and his partner, he's going all out for the the emotional side, you know, one-to-one, -one personal level. The odd joke here and there. Um, but, I mean, this is like looking into your eyes type of stuff. And it gives you the goosebumps, especially when he brought the choir of children out singing the uh, chorus to that song. That was... Uh, that was cool, especially the way he brought them out. That was uh, that was very good. This is definitely going to be one of those moments in history that no one in this room will ever forget. And I will wash up all the dishes. I need to ask me to. And I'd even try and put them away. Because that's what husbands do. So hold your nose and say, Dancing on the kitchen towels Yes, you made my life worthwhile So I told you this one And I will answer all your wishes If you ask me to But if you deny me one of your kisses Don't know what I'd do so here's the toast, please raise your glasses and champagne fruits. Here's to my beautiful wife from today for all my life. Oh, he's going. <laughs> he's going. Our wedding night. <laughs> it's all about you. That's nice. That's really nice. Young 
That was not what I was expecting. That was so wholesome. The, the amount of layers that he put into that for all the different songs that he uh, created for all the different people in that wedding was so damn good. That I didn't expect it at all. I thought wedding speech is just going to be talking. Do you know what I mean? Can you imagine if there's people in that room who are going to get married as well at a different time? And, and then like he does a wedding speech like that. And like, hey, you better top that wedding speech. How would you top a wedding speech like that? That was absolutely fantastic. I mean, the way he explained it as well at the beginning, I'm no good at writing speeches. I can't do this. I can't perform in front of people doing speeches. But I can write a song. Ring! The piano starts. And I, I imagine that's he's recorded these piano versions and guitar versions and whatever, because obviously he plays piano, doesn't he? And guitar. So I, I imagine, I mean, through the, through the process of elimination that he wrote the whole thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Music as well as lyrics. But yeah, what a beautiful way to tell everyone in the room that you love them for, for being there on a special day. Wow, that was cool. Very, very touching. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you all in the next one.